This is not just a camera, it's a portal and I don't want to sound dramatic but this little device, it turned my world upside down. I often go out for a walk but today might not have been the day. There's a wildfire burning nearby there. You see all the smoke? Actually, we got a message earlier on from Civil Protection warning us to stay indoors, which I chose to ignore. And although I can't smell anything, I think that sometimes I can be rather dismissive. Photography was a thing for me since I was a boy. This was my first camera. It's a Kodak, a film camera. I bought it when I was 15 or so, and it just has a single button. You press on it and, you know, whatever happens and you know it has even a plastic lens but it's still a camera and my mother used to have a camera like that and whenever we we went outside for for a ride or whatever she would take pictures of us all the time and everywhere it was kind of frustrating for me as a boy but i think it kind of stayed with me they're watching the olympics here yeah. But reality hit hard. School and society around me told me that art is not a profession. I even remember a teacher saying, what, photography, playing the piano? No, 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 this won't put food on your table. So, like many others, I thought, you know, engineering, medicine, law, th these were the trending professions at the time in Greece. So it was easy for me. I went with engineering because I loved taking things apart and figuring out how they worked in my spare time. Fast forward to Edinburgh in Scotland, engineering school. I got my master's degree, I worked then in Oxfordshire for a while, but you know what, photography and visual arts were always there, following along in the background. And engineering did pay the bills for sure, but you know, with every paycheck, my, my main concern was to upgrade my camera, so I guess photography was quietly following with every paycheck. This actually is the second camera I bought. It's an Icon, a semi-pro camera, and I bought it in the UK with my first paycheck. But later in life, I went back to Greece and I started working for a company, doing business development for a software that managed solar power plants around the world. So I was helping around the world and my paycheck was kind of greater, I guess. So this is when I bought my, my first professional camera, which is the Canon 5D Mark II and this camera actually sparked my interest for photography a lot more. I took drawing lessons, I built a dark room inside my bedroom from scratch and I used my commuter work to study photography podcasts. The technical side was rather easy for me since I was an engineer but I knew I needed to dive into the art. So this is when I discovered the masters and started studying them, like Henri Cartier-Bresson, Costa Manos, Joseph Kudelka, and the sorts. My first exhibition, well, if you can call it that, was in Missolonghi. I'm even shy to show you any photographs from that. But, you know, something happened there. During a local event over there, something clicked in me. I decided to start a journey into the soul of Greece through its traditions. And this is when Ethos was born. I started traveling around Greece, capturing these unique cultural events, and I made a choice, black and white. Why? It's not just an aesthetic choice. I decided to do that because by stripping away the color, I could focus more on form and geometry. And I also allowed the viewer to participate using their own imagination. By then, 
I had bought the Leica Q camera, which is the camera I use today as well. So all of the work that you see is made on this camera. And a few years in, I exhibited at the Benaki Museum and this felt like the end of an era. But luckily after that, I got a call from the Fragonard Museum in France, in, in Grasse, it's a city near Cannes. And they asked me to do an exhibition, actually to, to move the ethos exhibition from the Benaki Museum to there, only this time focusing in women's costumes. And this is what planted the seed for the Cariatis project. This was the start of Cariatis. Cariatis for me is a study on women's costumes around Greece. And I actually worked with scientific advisors to ensure the authenticity and the historic accuracy of the costumes because I thought that since I'm photographing this costume why not try to help towards preserving our history at the same time. Between 2021 and 2022 I decided to take part in a few competitions. I'm not exactly a competition guy, I wouldn't say that, but I know that competitions for some people are a kind of a filter, they are good for your bio, so I managed to receive 22 awards so far. I started doing exhibitions of Cariatis and as you might know it's currently in the Athens International Airport but the full exhibition that will be coming in a few years time from now. So what's next? You might ask. Well, good question. Since Cariatis is coming to an end, I'm starting to explore cinematography as you might already know from a previous blog of mine. I'm trying to take the photography skills I have and push them a little bit further into the cinema. Anyone who wants to collaborate on anything that has to do with cinematography, just drop me a line and we can explore anything you might imagine. I, I'm very happy, more than happy to, to help in your project. And um, also I'm working on a few photography projects like Horos, but this is probably material for another film. So yeah, we'll see what life brings, I guess. See you guys. Bye.